Chris. Now, next movie is Colossal. Now, Troy, you saw this movie, and like we said before, there are dueling reviews on the website. Yeah. CJ hated it. Le- Neil was lukewarm. He didn't love it, but he didn't hate it. Troy, where do you come down on this movie? All right, movie? so... Uh, I'll tell you what, I wanted to leave about 10 minutes before the end of the movie. I, I sat through it, and I went, okay, look, it's, uh, it's, I can tell it's a well-made film. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the acting, everything, all the elements are there. But there was something I was annoyed by, which is, if I'm watching a movie, like, it's, it's, first of all, it's not an action movie. I love, I love action movies. I'll sit through. If it's a good action movie. It's a relationship just, monster movie. Y- well, y- Sort of. Yeah. It's not, it's not oh, that here's pause. the thing. Sort of. It's not really a monster movie at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if if people are going to see a, uh, to see a monster movie, I th- so so here's what happened. I hated this movie all the way through, and I went, God, I don't even like. I I was I even had a pen out, and I was just like, in case I I have some notes. All I did was write, what the fuck is this about? <laughs> Those are your like, notes. I, I wrote that four times. <laughs> And then uh, I thought you were going to say, in case I die while watching this right, movie, I want to write my will while right. I'm watching it. I, well, I, I was. We I was appreciate ex- the effort to try to I, take notes. I was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, those are the notes. That's I, a, well, you're you're a big guest who does his homework. Yeah, I, I, I was expecting that there was going to be some profound message in this movie. Like there was going to be something, and and that didn't come until the end. At the end of the movie, I liked the movie. Oh. Interesting. It turned you I around. I almost left mm-hmm. because I went. I already know this is going. I know what's going to happen. Uh, this is just nonsense. And then all these elements came together. This movie is actually a little more profound than it looks on the surface. If you're going mm-hmm. to see a monster movie, you're going to hate it. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know anything about the movie. I walked in cold. I wanted to just experience the movie and see it. So I didn't know. So here's what this, uh, and this is not a spoiler thing, but this is sort of what my take on what this movie is about. This monster uh, that is controlled by uh, Anne Hathaway. Anne, mm-hmm. Anne Hathaway. That's in the trailer. Yeah, yes. that's in the trailer. You mm-hmm. know that going in. Uh, so she controls this monster, and it destroys uh, Seoul, Korea. Um, she's an alcoholic. And I didn't put all these elements together, but this movie is actually about the battle for your soul in the face of addiction. And I didn't get that until the very end. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. So, and, and also that's why it's, the, of all cities, the monster destroys soul because it's a battle for your soul. Uh-huh. So, so that, that was, that was, that's when sort of all these elements hit me. Cause I, I just can't, what's it about? What's it about? I, I really tried so hard and I, maybe I could have picked that up sooner. I don't know. I, I, uh, and maybe not everyone even picks this up, but um, there's a there's this there's a scene. Well, let's see. So there's a lot of this this battle that's happening in Seoul is for it, it's sort of to reclaim the the the, the life of Anne Hathaway. Uh-huh. You know, that's mm. interesting because okay. like the the director is Nacho uh, Vigalando, yeah. who who's I mean he's done like. VHS, he, he you know he did open windows. He doesn't have some stellar, hmm. you know, the, a lot of low budget stuff. The VHS was probably just a segment on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean he did well, the ABCs of death. Like it's really hmm. it, it, hard director. So so yeah. this movie, I mean, I don't know. Again, this is just my interpretation of it. But this, so when the whole time I was watching too, I went, oh, this is just like um, like a Twilight Zone episode that could have been ten minutes. Right. And and there was a Twilight Zone where there was like these astronauts that went to a planet and they smashed these little people, yeah. so it was very similar in the theme to that. Um, but you know, in the end, so stay out of the end so you can like it. Right. <laughs> I don't know that everyone will like it. I right. uh, when I I asked the uh, concession when I walked out, I went, hey, uh, so what, what was your take on the? Did you see this movie? What was your take on it? And she's like, yeah, I liked it. She goes, I guess it's doing really well. And I went, that surprises me. I wouldn't think people would like this. She goes, no, it, it, it's, I guess it's doing well. So is that true? Is this movie doing well? Well, I, I don't know. Like, I, we... Well, it had to be a lower budget. It's not a $100 million budget. N- no, I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> well, but, uh, you know, there are some cool monster scenes, if you like monsters, right. certainly. But it's not what the movie is about. Right. You know? I can't a lot seem of to find a budget it. online, but it, it ha- apparently opening weekend it hasn't done well. It's done like hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars. I mean, th- mm-hmm. so I saw it at uh, 6 o'clock at the Arc Light yesterday, and it was... Uh, there was probably eight to twelve people in that in that uh, mm. uh, large auditorium. 
I mean, I guess for me, the thing that looked intriguing was just that it's they did a decent job with the trailer and that I was like, you know, oh, it's just some girl trying to get her life together. Oh, there's a monster. Like, oh, this will be interesting. Like, it's it's a different we've like we've seen monster movies and we've seen the girl whose life is chaotic and has to fix it. And they're putting them together. And I'm like, that's cool. But but I was wondering, like, will that get old or it, there's there are some weird things in this movie where I just go, why did the director choose that? Like, why did why in the world? Like there's there's a scene where um, Jason Sudeikis, who who plays the lead, he um, he kind of finds a way to in a way set his bar on fire. He has a very nice bar. And I went. What's this about? Like this isn't this mm-hmm. doesn't really support uh, other than the alcoholism, you know, theme in it. This doesn't really support the thing. Like there's weird shit that happens in this movie where I went, I don't know why this is in there. And there's that you could so see why someone could hate the film. I could absolutely see that. <laughs> and by the way, if anybody's expecting this movie's going to be funny, like I've heard cuz you know, yeah, it looks uh, like Jason it's quirky Zaykes comedy is, and stuff. Really, yeah. I found absolutely nothing that would anyone go, oh, ha, 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 that's fine. Wow. There's no so it's humorless, too. Not. No, mm. not, not, no, I wouldn't say humorless, mm. but it's not comedy. Right. Okay. It's not trying to be a com- That's part. Not and, trying to be. You either. know, that is one of these things, and sometimes studios or distributors do this, where they've got a movie that doesn't fit into any type of genre, so they cut a trailer that makes it look like it's the wrong genre. Because I could see, I could yes. see based on what you're telling me, and from the trailer that I've seen, that I could see someone going, "Oh, this looks like it'll be kind of a funny, funny, quirky, funny, oh, quirky thing." And then comedy. you're like, and then they're gonna go, and they're like, "This isn't funny at all. Fuck this film." Yeah, I'm not gonna stay for the last ten minutes. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know that anyone else wanted to leave. I did. Mm-hmm. I was, I was so Sound close. Like C.J. Johnson wanted to leave. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> his, right? his review is hilarious. You have to read it on the site. It's I, uh, I like uh, C.J.'s funniest reviews are the ones when he hates a film. Yeah, well, the the last um, I would just say the last line of the film, like the last mm, thirty seconds, uh, sort of tied it all together and made the point for me. Okay. You know? Um, okay. Because I just I didn't get that there was you know that she has this drinking problem. Uh, I feel like that. Uh, I mean, it, they they sort of make it clear in the movie, but it's not like you watch it and you go, oh, this is about that. It's not. You don't. When you watch it, you won't say, oh, this movie's about alcoholism or addiction or whatever. Mm. But at the end, you might go back and go, oh, okay. Well, that's my prediction. All right. Okay. okay. I still kind of want to see it. I, I want to see it too, especially now that I'm hearing all these differing points of view. I know. And, I got to. Uh, I, I, I want to see it for myself. Comedy Film Nerds Podcast.